Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajara here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on this soft holiday glam right here. Something very easy and quick, so if you guys are interested to see how I did this look and what products I use, then I suggest you keep on watching. But before I start this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So this is going to be such a quick and easy tutorial that like literally anyone can do. So we're going to do like a soft glam holiday makeup look. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera because they're pretty rough right now. Like I need to get them cleaned up. I'm actually getting my brows laminated today, which I'm pretty nervous about because I've never like done any like lamination or anything. So I'm a little worried, but I hope it comes out good. So I'm going in with my go-to. This is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. I am in the shade Neutral. This foundation is honestly so good for like a heavyweight foundation or even like a lightweight one, depending on how much you put on. If I want a lightweight look, I usually just go in like with one um, big droplet and then just pat it all over and then it just gives me a nice like even skin tone. All right, so now for concealer, I have been recently going back to an oldie but a goodie. Um, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I stopped using this and then I just picked it up recently and I was like, this stuff is bomb, like I missed it. So I'm in the shade Light Medium Honey. I like a bright under eye, so this is like a lot lighter than my um, foundation. So I'm just gonna apply it under like so. And a little definitely does go a long way. I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds and then go in with that same beauty sponge to blend it out. So now that we have all the concealer and foundation all blended out, make sure everything is not creasing. Now I'm gonna go into my La Mercier Transistor Powder and just use the beauty sponge again to set under the eyes and the rest of the face. And then I'm going in with a Morphe MB2 brush and taking some more of the powder just to set like the outer part of the face. Okay, so now moving on to bronzer, I'm going in with my Frankie Rose Contour Palette, which looks like this. I'm pretty much just going to mix these two shades together using a Firma 103 Contouring Brush. And we're going to start off with bronzing the forehead. So the way I like to contour is I kind of like to make like a fishy face, like, and that's the way I can see where my cheeks contour. And then just take the bronzer and apply it onto that area. And then I like to go in with the more fluffier contour brush. Uh, as you guys can tell, this one is more dense, but I want to kind of start to bronze and make my face warmer. So I'll go in with the middle shade right here and begin to just pretty much bronze all over. And then down the neck as well. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M533 brush, which is like a eyeshadow brush, but I like to use this to contour my nose. I'm going to go back into the contour palette and take the light shade right here, just because we don't want anything too intense at first. So what I like to do is pretty much follow where my eyebrow would lead to, and then just bring the bronzer downwards. Same thing on this side. Bring it down. And then I'm also going to take that same shade and apply it into the crease of my eyelid. And now to warm it up a little more, I'm going to take the middle shade and also put that in the crease. Now to warm it up a little more, I'm going to take the darkest shade in the contour palette and that's also going to be put into the eyelid. This is what I mean where it's a very subtle soft glam because we're pretty much just using bronzer for eyeshadow look so it's nothing too intense so i'm also gonna focus a little more bronzer right here in the inner corner of the eyes 
that's gonna help like snatch up your nose a little more and then let me brush out my lash extensions with the spoolie real quick now for some blush i'm gonna go in with my mac gingerly blush this is an oldie but a goodie as you guys can tell i love this blush um i'm gonna use a urban studio stippling brush and put that onto the cheeks i feel like for holiday looks you really want a lot of um warmth on the skin so i'm kind of gonna go a little ham with this blush and on the nose, I love a blushy nose. And on the chin, pretty much everywhere. Okay, so to really pull everything together, I'm gonna go into my Dragon Beauty um, face transformation powder. And pretty much just mix both these shades right here to help brighten up under the eyes a little more. And then also bring it down the side of the nose, which helps it give an illusion of a more snatched up nose. You guys know like that baby doll filter? I think it's called that on Instagram like this is gonna give that look you see that okay so I do want to go in with a little bit of highlight so I'm gonna take um, Rodeo Drive by Ofra Cosmetics using my BH um, number five brush this is a collab with Nazanin and just apply a little bit on the cheekbones a little bit on the nose just something subtle not too much all right, so now I'm going to go in with some clear brow gel using my Benefit 24-hour brow gel and set those brows. All right, so that is pretty much for the face. I'm telling you guys, a very quick and easy face. And the main thing to make this like a holiday glam, I'm going to go in with a bold red lip. So first, I'm going to line my lips using my Lurity Cosmetics Retro Red Lip Liner. Okay, I'm looking a little crazy right now, but I'm gonna go into the hashtag give me Lala beauty um, Hydro matte. I love you liquid lipstick. This one is a very intense red So I might have to go over it with the lip liner to tone it down All right, you guys see how red that is that's a little too orangey red so I'm gonna go back into the lip liner So I feel like that lip liner definitely helped it tone down a little bit because at first it was a little bit more of an orangey red. I'm not really a fan of that. So now to finish up the look, I'm going to go in with some setting spray. This is a Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. It smells so good. And then dry my face with my fan. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and threw on some jewelry to complete the look, you know. I feel like this is such a um, go-to holiday glam, just like a settle, everyday beat with a red bold lip. And I feel like it just screams Christmas or holidays, you know. So yeah guys, that is all for today's video. Definitely tag me if you do recreate this little soft holiday glam. I would love to see you guys' take on it. Um, but yeah, that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like to see in the future. Please subscribe. Stay blooming. Happy holidays. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.